My name is Hannah Berkeley. My name is Noah Nelson. My name is Tobak Tarnstader, but everybody calls me TT. Then Julie. My name is Adam Tesfa. I'm a junior at School of Foreign Service, and I'm majoring in global business. Studying culture and politics with a concentration in the social foundations of immigrant and refugee education. I want to transfer to the NHS and pursue a degree in international health. Law and global justice. The government and psychology double major and a business administration minor. My life passion is to create an educational environment in which immigrant and refugee students feel welcome and where they feel like their cultures, their backgrounds, and their experiences are valued. It's pretty broad right now. Um, it's just to help people and to travel. Life goal has always been changing the world, you know, having big implications, becoming part of the parliament or getting to UN. It's to provide legal assistance to vulnerable populations. And by that I mean like victims of human trafficking or refugees who don't have any um, resources to have legal assistance. If to pursue a career that is somehow related to creative writing. I, I worked on the Hill uh, last summer and I had an opportunity to draft speeches for a publication called The Congressional Record and that was when I realized that I had a passion for creative writing. Because I always feel very fortunate for having the opportunity to study at great schools, be surrounded by amazing people, and I want to pay back to the community. I took a gap year before coming to Georgetown, working with um, patients and uh, lab samples. Uh, my parents are both immigrants from Ethiopia. My dad sought asylum in the 1970s, and my mom came here in 1994 after the fall of the communist regime. Seeing them struggle and seeing my classmates struggle and struggling myself really pushed me to focus on immigrants and refugee students. So I'm personally designing my education so that I will be able to understand people from radically different backgrounds from me. So for example, I'm taking Spanish to understand people who, who are from Hispanic background. Writing for the Georgetown Boys. Uh, last semester I was writing for Halftime, which is the sports and leisure blog of the Georgetown Boys, and I was writing about issues in professional sports, and I was just instantly fascinated by the stuff that I was working on. At Georgetown, um, I didn't even know about the International Health Program until I came here. I got to start taking classes in the NHS, um, like maternal and child health care, um, and biochemistry. I have realized that in order to help people and change the world, you don't have to make very, very big things. And this is why I've decided to become a coach, a hockey coach at Whole Trinity, and volunteer to help kids. We want to keep them out of the street. Um, so I am working with Professor Douglas Reed in the government department. We are doing a study on English learners at T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia, from which I graduated, trying to examine their help-seeking networks, figuring out who it is that these students are going to for help when they have a problem with school, and then matching that up with what resources the school has to offer. I definitely have. I would say my mom. My mom has always raised me by herself uh, since my parents got divorced. And I have seen her dedicate everything that she has to my education. She told me, I've never anything, I've never asked for anything more than your education. I've never asked for fancy clothes, fancy cars, fancy houses. All I wanted for you to become successful and to get a good education. And I'll provide you that. So now it's your chance to go and use it. To the most is actually the professor who I work for, Professor Douglas Reed. Before coming to Georgetown and before meeting him, I didn't think that I was graduate school material. My mom is the only person in my immediate family who went to college, and I grew up lower middle class, and I didn't attend an elite high school. He's really encouraged me to do my best, and he's made me feel like I can go out and pursue a PhD, which is something I never thought I could do. I never thought that I would even consider. It has always been my dream, but I've never been able to play in a hockey team back at home because we didn't have enough equipment, our rink was small, too small to play hockey. And when I came here, I had to educate myself, train myself in hockey. 
like these neighborhoods, you see gun violence, physical abuse, sexual abuse, and it is very hard to put yourself into their shoes. I think um, I face a hardship that everyone goes through at some point, which is just not knowing what the heck you want to do. Taking a gap year was really influential for me because I felt like during that time I found a, a little bit better kind of what what I was passionate about. Maybe self-doubt because I'm always like trying to make other people's lives better and sometimes you kind of just don't know if you've actually made like a lasting impact but you really like have to ask the fundamental questions like what are you really passionate about? What do you love doing? And um, what kind of person you are? You know, don't be afraid to laugh at yourself every once in a while. Um, you know, if you are going for big, after big dreams, you're gonna fail sometimes and that's okay. I think that being self-critical is a very important skill and it's something that I'm definitely working on every day, whether it's in classes, whether it's in my writing. And so I think just being able to understand that you're not gonna get everything perfectly on the first try. Go to office hours. I cannot stress the importance of office hours enough. I actually got my job because I went to office hours. You have no idea how much difference it makes to actually like talk to people who are doing really interesting things that you're interested in. Or or even people who are doing things that you previously didn't have interest in. Do whatever makes you happy. No matter what people say, no matter how people find the things that you do unusual, you know, out of the box, if that's making you happy, just do it.